Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel and my wedding series episode 12, my wedding dress alteration journey. Now if you haven't watched the first two parts of me finding my dream wedding dress, pause this video here and go watch those. It was a very long and difficult process for me to find my dream dress as I am very indecisive and very picky. I had specific boxes that I needed to tick when it came to my dress. I had very specific vision for my dress, so that made it quite difficult, but in the end, I did find my dream wedding dress. I started looking in July, 2022, and didn't find it until September, and my wedding was in August, 2023. So quite a long period of time, but let's just quickly watch the moment I found my wedding dress and the day I said yes to the dress. This dress had everything I wanted. The distinct, beautiful floral appliques, the structure, the deep V, the trailing florals going down. The beading was exquisite and gorgeous. It made me feel like a princess. And like I've said, although I'm an emotional person, I knew that I wasn't going to have that emotional moment when I thought a dress could be the one. I mean, you can see it on my face. I'm thinking hard about the decision. Does it tick off all the boxes? Is it in my budget? And technically, it wasn't. I had seen this dress on Instagram and I asked specifically to try it on. And Mariana agreed that because it was in my size, she would sell it to me off the rack to keep it within my budget. Dry clean, I would fix it nice and you have like brand new dress. Mm -hmm. So after a lot of thought, I knew this dress fit everything that I wanted in a dress. Unfortunately, my bridal party weren't able to make it to this appointment, but I was able to get my maid of honor, Sarah, on the phone for this very long awaited moment. There's Sarah. I okay, go backwards. Are you, Are you saying it? Yes. 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 Yeah, it's beautiful. I've made a decision, finally. <laughs> finally, finally. <laughs> Mama, I love you. You have to go and drink some pain. Thank you. <laughs> so after a long and emotional journey, I finally found my dream wedding dress, but there were still some alterations and tweaks that I wanted to make before the big day. So let's get into my wedding alteration journey, day one. Hi, dearie. Hi. Hi, nice seeing you after so many months. I know, it's been so long. Yeah. Hello, baby. Wow. You still look pretty. I haven't touched it in months. Like, I've just, I've opened the bag, I looked at it, I closed, closed the bag. bag. <laughs> it hasn't even come out of the bag. I open the bag every once in a while and look at it. It is very, very beautiful. I get in my head about it a lot, but... So between the day I actually said yes to the dress and my first alteration appointment, I'll be honest, I kind of had some doubts. I was overthinking the dress quite a bit just because it had already been such a long journey. I was like, oh my gosh, did I make the right decision? Obviously it was a big buttload of money that I was spending on this one dress. And so I started overthinking things and I was thinking specifically, was the V too wide, too deep, too much basically. And I expressed kind of my thoughts in that first alteration appointment and Mariana, the genius dressmaker that she is, said, hold on a second. And she went to the back and pulled these floral applique pieces that really matched the dress like exactly. And she kind of started pinning them to give me an idea of what it could look like if I had some, you know, additional things added. And seeing that and then comparing with what it was before, it really was the cherry on top of this dress. Cause I feel like a lot of the dresses, if you watch those two videos that I really liked, I loved like whimsical trailing florals. And obviously I had that going on in the skirt that I was really wanting, but not as much at the top part. So, I feel like we had to add it and it just made all the difference to me. So that was what really made the dress, you know, my own. It's not like too busy, right? No. Not, no? No, you're too close to me. Cause like there's space in between. I just want to make okay, sure. It's okay, but it is cohesive. Still nice. 
cohesive. You excited, baby? Mm -hmm. I can't wait for it to be the day. <laughs> Very nice. I can't wait for June 20th first and then afterwards. June 20th is when her, uh, her immigration, uh, My immigration interview is June 20th. Is June 20th. He's contemplating herself. So beautiful. I, I love it better. I like that better. All right, just got ready for my second bridal fitting appointment. I'm pretty sure that all the alterations are done in terms of like tucking in the sides and any of the details that were changing in the bodice. Other than that, it's like the hemming of the dress. I delayed my appointment in the end because I couldn't find shoes that I liked. I found some that will, that will work. But yeah, let's go to Mariana's bridal and see my dress. They're cute. Look at the shoes. How do we feel about the shoes? I don't know. I'm trying to use this. Do you see the shoes? You see the shoes. They look fine. They look good even when they're like pretty white. I mean, it's... They don't look white from this angle because of the shadow. Looks good. million degrees and we are here at Mariana's Bridal for my second to last appointment I'm pretty sure to just make sure that the hem is the right length and to just do any final details until I pick up my dress at my next appointment I do need to measure from my head to the bottom of my train to just make sure that the veil I order is the right length so I gotta do that at this appointment and yeah see how my dress is looking so far So after three dress alteration appointments, my dress was ready to be picked up before I actually moved to the USA and had my wedding in August, 2023. But obviously the biggest change that was made were those floral applique details that were added to the top. We obviously hemmed the bottom a bit and took in the sides just a little bit, but that was my entire dress alteration process from the day I said yes to the dress to what my dress looked like on the big day. you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already I have just a few more episodes to wrap up this wedding series my bachelorette vlogs as well as a wedding weekend vlog before I post the finale which will be our wedding video which I'm very excited to share so stick around for that and subscribe so you don't miss it thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day bye <laughs>